So, uh, we're all living through this coronavirus uh, quarantine, so I ended up getting uh, some GTI seats for my uh, sport wagon. And you wouldn't believe how cool these things are, man. Uh, let's take let's take a look. So this is my 2017 Golf Sport Wagon for motion. Now you can see we got the Golf GTI seats in here. And they are so much nicer than the stock ones, so much nicer. The back seat um, bolts right in too, that's not a problem. So let's go through uh, how this works. So first thing you need to do before you do anything is disconnect the battery. The battery's held, the negative battery terminal is held on with a 10 millimeter socket. Um, not take off the battery cable before you do anything. Make sure your trunk is open, um, the hatch is open before you start because once you disconnect the battery you can't get that open. Put the seats in the position you want before you disconnect the battery cable. Um, if you have uh, power seats, because um, once you take them out they're stuck in the position that they're in so these guys are forever the way they are so anyway that's it it's super easy you can pick up these GTI seats I got the whole set for 500 bucks off a guy but um, I've seen the R the leather R seats for like a thousand bucks a set otherwise you could put the you know the all track seats in which are leatherette you know it's whatever you want whatever you can get a hold of so what you do is Right here, there's a bolt on each side. There's also one in the back, right there. So that's a triple square. These bolts are triple square, so you're gonna need a triple square set to get those out. Um, then there's a couple of wires, which I'll show you. Back seat. Um, basically you just lift up here just pull it up and then it comes right out you don't even have to take um, you don't have to take these out you can take them out makes it a little easier but you don't have to all right so back seat um, you can see this okay this whole thing back here has to come out basically just lift up on it lift up on it um, it it's kind of tough there's clips but you just lift up on it, it comes right out then underneath here is another um, it's another plastic piece underneath there it's held on with like three uh, torque screws so you take that off then in between these seats here is a clip um, a metal um, retaining uh, piece of metal it's held on with one Torx uh, bigger it's a bigger it's a bigger screw but um, it's Torx so again you need the Torx uh, set and so then that comes out and then you can lift off the back seats the top comes right off that's all you have to take off this thing and the plastic piece underneath and then the clip and then this all comes off then you got the whole and then you just um, on the side here you pull this away and you have um, all that off then you can put the, the new set in all right let's go take a look at uh, the old seats and you can see what's going on here all right so these are the old seats and it had the low profile headrest from an Audi A4 put on here I'm gonna be selling these I don't know if I can sell the rest of the stuff if anybody's gonna want cloth seats but um, yeah oh yeah one more thing so this seat belt this seat belt on the back seat this is bolted in with a um, 117 millimeter uh, regular nut you need a, uh, a longer um, socket to get that bolt out because um, 
the nut goes over uh, <coughs> it goes over a uh, stud. So anyway, this is the uh, a security bit set. You can buy this. I'll have the link to Amazon in my uh, video description. So click the down arrow. So you're gonna need these. Uh, where are the torques? Here, these are the torques here. Various sizes to get those uh, bolts out. And then this is a triple square set. Uh, it's also called spline bit socket set. And I don't remember which size you need, but it's one of these. Just buy the whole set because when you're working on the car, you need these. Okay, one other thing that you need to do on the passenger side. Okay, so this is what the <clears throat> this is what the two uh, connectors look like. Now, if your original seats had three connectors and your new seats have two connectors, you can you, you can use these two connectors. You don't have to have three. Um, I think this one is for the heated seats, and this is for everything else. I'm not sure. Like, uh, I'm really not sure. Don't like. I'm not an expert in this. I just. The ones that I bought were 2017 GTI seats, the exact same connectors as my 2017 Sport Wagon um, had. These here were heated seats, the GTI are also heated seats. And okay, so this is the deal. <clears throat> Underneath on the passenger's seat, this uh, module right here is, has a connector one connector. It has a screw right here. Looks like a Torx there. Um, this here uh, module you have to replace, you have to swap from the, your current seats to the new seats otherwise I heard that um, you're gonna get a check engine light. Okay. If you like this video please like and subscribe. Auf Wiedersehen.